Welcome everybody, Level in Diecast, episode 42, Diecast Hall time. This is where we have the smorgasbord of everything that we have been collecting and I've been a little bit far behind. So this video is going to be a doozy. Um, I did pick up a bunch of these Adventure Force models. These are Maestos, but these are brand new from a mix. That is a Toyota Corolla, just a regular, regular Corolla. Couldn't have been any better done by anybody any better um just ridiculous i love the fact that maester just does regular castings it's just so cool this one looks fantastic of course there's no interior but at least we get prints on the front and the back this would look really really good with a pretty basic wheel swap there is the deets on the back super shiny does say corolla there on the left hand side pretty rudimentary on the prints but they're there it looks good there is your base deets the 2021 Toyota Corolla, looking very, very cool. Very, very cool. Really like that one. That one deserves to be up in its little spot. It's a little little spot. Uh, picked up another one. This is a little bit older casting, just a newer release for it. This is the uh, Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Again, no interior on this either. They do have to meet that uh, $1 price point for Walmart, so... They get no interiors on these, but they do get prints. So you do have your full front prints. Look good. Uh, Mercedes logo there. Looks pretty good. Pretty basic for the tail lights, but it's kind of a uh, kind of a pearlescent white. Looks really good. So it's a good casting. See what the base deed show. Just says Mercedes Benz S Class, made in China. This is a uh, like I said, an older casting that's been chugging around for a little bit. We'll just throw that guy in the bottom. All right, talking about regular cars, we do have another one here. This is a uh, Toyota RAV4. So, Maesto must be having some stuff going on with Toyota, which I think is perfectly fine. This one is fantastic. This casting is nice and big. This is a big casting. It's very appropriately sized. This one looks fantastic. This one looks even better than the Corolla, in my opinion. There is the front end. Dietz looks good. Toyota symbol on there as well. The wheels are not that bad. You know, they're blacked out wheels, but I think that looks pretty good. This one I think would be better with the wheel swap as well. It says Toyota RAV4. It says RAV4 Prime. It's a RAV4 Prime. So that's pretty cool with the uh, integrated uh, moonroof there. So there's your Dietz 2022 Toyota RAV4. Really like that one a lot. That one's really, really cool. Really super stoked that they came out with that one. I also was lucky enough to finally find this OBS, this 454 SS. Um, been looking for this one for a little bit. It's been out in five packs and nine packs and stuff, but it's been very difficult to find it in the single pack because I don't want the whole pack. There is the deets in the front, full prints. Looks pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not, not super cool, but it looks pretty good. I think the prints and stuff look pretty good. It says 454 SS on the side. I like that detail to it. And of course you have your Chevrolet on the back with your bow tie. Again, no interior on this. Just, you know, darked out windows, blacked out windows. The base has quite a bit of detail to it. Looks pretty good. 1993 Chevy at 454 SS pickup is what it says. So that looks pretty cool. Did it really say 1993? It does. I didn't think it was quite that old. Maybe it's just me. Ah, Yes. The Mercedes-Benz 190E. Um, everybody is getting their hands in this car. This car is getting extremely hot. Um, pretty much everybody is either made a 190E now or they're in the process of making a 190E. This car is just red hot right now. 2.5, 1.6 in the back. Get that to focus a little bit. 190E. The back doesn't look that great. I think the tail lights are a little bit too big on this one. But uh, it looks pretty good from the side. It's a super metallic black. You can see all that black speck reflecting in there. It's okay. Again, no uh, interior on this one. And then just basic prints. Just a bunch of silver in the front, but it looks good. The overall casting looks fantastic. I really like it. A little bit of print there on the side. See if we can see what it says. Probably says Evo or something like that. Super small print on there. Which is not going to happen no matter what. There is your base Dietz 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E. Love it. 
Really hope that uh, Mayesa just keeps coming out with regular castings like that. I really like that a lot. All right. I also picked up uh, one of these. This is a uh, Charger Police. So it's the Adventure Force unit number 22. So I picked this one up. I wanted an extra one. I already had this one. Um, but I realized that they actually released another one. Um, still the same number 22 on the top. But this one is for... Uh, Fontana. So this one is a licensed deco on the side. So all they did was change the door logo on that. So this is the previous one, or the existing one, I should say. So pull this one out. Pretty sure we've shown this on the channel before because, like I said, this was an extra. Just says AF on the side. It is a Charger AF. Fast AF, you know, the deal. Uh, but this one is licensed. So this one is for Fontana. Crack this one up. Should be for Fontana, California. I'm not sure other Fontanas, but uh, should be Fontana. It says Fontana Sheriff's Department. That looks cool. Just uh, gold print on there. Nothing different between the car, though. But does have still have full front and rear deets, which looks good. And it's still number 22 on the top. So a little bit easier to, to run the prints. So we'll put that on the top. Barely can see that, but it's there. All right, we got some older Hot Wheels. Um, before we get to some newer Hot Wheels, this is a wheel variation I didn't have. This is the five spoke. Um, I have this uh, 348 with the red interior with three spokes. I also have it with the eight dot wheels, uh, but I didn't have it with the uh, traditional five spoke. So finally picked that one up, got it for $1. So I'm going to have the blister here. There we go. Sometimes the cardboard just doesn't want to doesn't want to do it. There is the 348 with the five spokes. Nothing really fancy other than that. It does have red interior furry logo on the front. Looks okay. Definitely a product of the early 90s from uh, Hot Wheels. So kind of an average casting. Um, not really like great great details or anything like that, but it's it's there. Uh, and then I picked up a duo of the Power Pistons. Um, so I have a ridiculous amount of variations for this particular casting. Um, so from the Phantom series, I didn't have this five spoke. I have it in three spoke, but not five spoke. This is the red translucent. This is the basically like the uh, OG X Racers, I guess you could probably call it, uh, where they had the translucent body where you could see through it. Not that this casting had anything in particular for it to be able to see through it, but it is there. So you just see the wheels down in there, the metal base. There's really nothing to see in there. This is the original version of the casting, which still had an opening cockpit area that was retooled and gone away. Um, but this was this was an okay casting. It says power pistons there on the bottom. You know, this is a track car for sure. But uh, just a variation I didn't have, so nothing really fancy to go with that. We'll just throw that guy up there. Don't spend too much time on it. And then this one, this is the first edition. So the first edition comes out in about seven or eight different wheel variations. Um, I had gold seven spokes, but I didn't have the chrome seven spokes. So finally found this one and finally cracked this one. I believe this is the vinyl wheel variation I needed for the first edition. This is where it debuted again. Open cockpit for the original versions. Just a three, uh, seven spoke. So nothing really different between that. Just a wheel variation that I didn't have from back in the day. A couple more back in the days. This is the original release of the Alien in purple. This is a new model. Speed Fleet with the uh, Ultra Hots on there. Looks good. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's crack this guy open. Get him out of the original blister. Just the Alien casting, I do collect this casting. So, didn't have the original OG first edition. So, I finally have the original OG. A little bit of a oxidation on the base. That is pretty typical. So, kind of interesting to get that right out of the package, though. Normally, that happens as soon as it's out of the package. Usually, it doesn't happen inside the package, but that's all right. Uh, Peugeot 205 Rally. Um, I think this might be the very last time they used this casting. Um, I have not seen this uh, tricolor one in person until this one. So I picked this up, got this for a dollar. I think that was a pretty good pickup. Um, I do have a couple of Blackwall versions of this casting. 
Um, this casting is metal uh, and it's got an opening part. So this casting was extremely expensive. So it makes sense that this casting did not live on. Uh, and this paint deco on this one was probably a little bit more expensive uh, just because they had the three pieces. It does have an opening hatch. So there's the opening hatch. You can see the crossbars and stuff in there. All the details down in there for the engine looks pretty good. It's basically the entire back of the car, which looks fantastic. This one just sports the five spokes. And then super orange base. Of course, made in China. Like I said, I think this is the last time they ever used that casting. Um, but I'm not really sure how many times they use that casting because I've only got a handful of that particular one. All right, a couple more. Another wheel variation for the Porsche 911. I did not have the uh, five-dot wheel variation for this one. I have a uh, three-spoke, five-spoke, and uh, I think there might be the tri-blades or what, what I call the tri-blades. Uh, but I did not have this one in the five-spoke or five-dot ring. The gunslinger wheels, maybe, is what they could call these. Kind of like a gunslinger, I guess. So not a great casting. Really not a good casting at all. I don't like the big wheels in the back either. But... A variation I didn't have, so definitely wanted to add that to the mix. So not too not too uh, common to come across wheel variations for that casting. That casting usually don't don't come across too many of those either. Um, and then I came across this. I have no idea the details of this. It says U.S. Charities Racing Team Hummer number four hundred five. It does have real riders on it. It's decoed up, kind of like premium style. Kind of has a premium card with uh, you know see through in the back. I got this for a dollar, so this was a dollar. The card is absolutely cherry. Look at that card. Look at that card. That makes me wonder. It makes me kind of bummed out that it, we're going to crack it open, but that is the coolest part ever. Giant American flag right there on the top. Absolutely fantastic. Another big old American flag on this side, and then another big old American flag on this side. Does have taillight prints. Pretty rudimentary. Body is plastic. The version of this casting that was a metal body only lasted like uh, maybe one or two releases and then it went to a plastic body uh, and then metal base so and that's how it spent its life being a plastic bodied model so throw that guy in there all right i got one from the pks that i missed out on the solero gt recolor in red um i don't know how i missed this one from the pks but uh, i did so it just says Solero GT. We did see this casting earlier this year in kind of a blue color um, with the same Solero GT on the side, same wheels too. So same chrome base too. Everything was the same, just blue instead of red. But I like this casting. looks cool. Like anything that's like uh, a race car-ish or prototype-ish or whatnot. All right, now we are going to move into, as I get these ready to go, we are going to move into the Q case. We got a lot of stuff from the Q case. This is the recolor for the Barbie Corvette. New casting for 2023. It came out in pink. Now we have it in blue, kind of a light blue, kind of a kind of a baby blue. It is an interesting model because there is a back seat, which uh, is weird for a Corvette, but it does have a back seat so that uh, Barbie can fit all her friends in it. A little bit of print in the front, a little bit of extra blue around the headlights and stuff. It says Barbie on the plates. Just a pretty average model. Other than that, I do like the Aeroblade wheels. I think that looks perfect on this casting. And then just a little bit of the white two-tone on the side. So maybe stick that guy on the side because we got a lot to do. Uh, new color for the 82 Cadillac Seville. We did see this one in red this year. Or kind of a maroon color, I think. Uh, and then it was a red edition in white and red. Now we have it in blue and light blue. So they definitely put some effort into this casting this year. I do like the Cadillac symbol there on the uh, D pillar there. It looks cool. Then a little bit of print in the back. It says Seville Hot Wheels has a red interior. So that's where you get your red taillights from. So it'll probably always have a red interior just so that they can keep that detail going. There is your base deets. Looks like S29 is the day code for the Q case. So we'll throw that in there. The Q case is the last case of 2023, by the way. All right, brand new casting, Mad Mike Drift Attack. That one looks pretty cool. I was pretty excited to get this one. This one had a lot of hype uh, on the socials when uh, it first leaked that it was coming out. It's a, it's just a average casting. It's definitely not a track car, though. You'll see it doesn't have the up chin spoiler on there. So it's definitely not a track car. 
Um, I would have thought that Hot Wheels would have tracked car a fight it. See the a little bit of detail down in there for the suspension a little bit. It's got this huge wing off the back. The wing doesn't move or anything. It's not like one of those models that does something. Um, but it does have some offset wheels, some steelies in the back. Looks good. Toyo tires on there. There is the base deets. So just Mad Mike drift attack. Huge diffuser on the back. It looks pretty good. I guess we'll throw him in the, in the thing there. All right, McLaren Solus GT, brand new casting again. A lot of new stuff coming out uh, casting-wise uh, in the Q case. So this is a brand new casting for the Q case, brand new casting for 2023. Just has some basic print down the middle there with a little bit of a kind of a bluish aqua kind of color. Uh, very dull to it though. Very interesting casting. It says 91 on the side of the wing. Looks distinctively McLaren from the back, but the rest of it definitely doesn't look anything like a McLaren whatsoever. This is pretty busy. Um, it looks like this is like a st strictly generic uh, track car, but it's in fact not a track car. So McLaren Solus GT does have some crazy arrow on the bottom. I think Howells did a pretty good job to capture that, but uh, not a fan of this casting. Definitely don't like it. Um, definitely not, not a good one for sure. Definitely not going to pursue all of those. All right. Hot Wheels is adding to their tuned collection. We do have the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6, the 964. Brand new casting for 2023. Brand new casting for the Q case. A lot of people are not happy with this. I think this is super cool. does have full prints on the back. It says Porsche Turbo 964 Turbo on the plates. The prints are not that great on this one. But I have another one. So if it's got better... better uh, Prints on that one. Maybe I'll crack that one too. But this one looks good. This one looks good. The uh, tuned version of these hot wheels that they're doing now is basically just really shrunk and then just really tall in the canopy section. So I think it looks pretty cool. Does have a couple exhaust tips out the back. S31 date on that one. That looks pretty cool. It's kind of cool. I think what we'll do is we'll squeeze him in at the top because he's small enough to fit. All right, recolor for the 1986 Toyota van. This is the fourth time we're seeing this particular van. It's gotten a couple of recolors, and then it has a red edition. Now we have this one for 2023. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to see this as a premium, but it, it really wouldn't make any sense to do this as a premium. So maybe do this one as maybe a maybe in a diorama box set would be kind of cool. Uh, full prints, basically all the way around for the most part. Prints in the back look pretty good. I like this one's kind of color matched. Um, previous versions have, you know, the trim has been a different color on most of them. This one looks good though. The casting is relatively small, but I think it's okay. I mean, Hotwells did what they had to do to, to make it work. I just wish the casting was a little bit bigger. Uh, motorcycle action, Honda Super Club. This is a recolor. Uh, we did see the last one in kind of a blue and cream. Now this one's in yellow and cream. Hot Wheels Moto, not a new casting, just recolors for this year. Get the blister out of here. This one looks okay. Has a little bit of print for the uh, seat in brown, which looks good. Uses the same three spokes as all the motorcycles have been using. This one looks okay. Has a little bit more engine detail on this side. No Honda, no H, no nothing like that. No other prints on this thing whatsoever. Um, and this one does not have an integrated kickstand either, so... It will fall over on its own, so we'll just lean it up next to our Toyota van and let it roll. Uh, recolor for the Alfa Romero GTV 6 3.0. This one in white. The first one came out in red this year. This was a new casting this year. I think this white one looks better than the red one. Prints in the front look fantastic. That is a new wheel for this year, too. It did debut on this casting, the first release of this casting earlier this year. I do anticipate we will see that wheel relatively heavily in 2024. It's just kind of the way that Hot Wheels does it. So throw that guy down there. Next one up, we do have the recolor for limited grip. So this is a new casting for this year as well. First one was in like black and red, I think. Now we get it in this uh, matte blue, which looks fantastic. Still black window, black widow exhaust, exactly like the first one. This one does come with some gold uh, wire wheels. Looks good. Chrome base on this one, which you don't really see much of it, but it does account for the front mount intercooler. And then, of course, the pipes out of the side. I really like this casting a lot. 
looks fantastic all that exposed just body work and all that kind of stuff like that the engine detail looks fantastic couple turbos up there throw in there uh land rover series 2 brand new for 2023 first time we're seeing this particular casting this is, has uh, no top on this particular one this one looks pretty good though just says cool on the side bf goodrich little bit of the grill is part of the interior so it gives you a little bit of color break so i do like that uh this one the majority of the prints on the top does say land rover flip that around on the surfboard so it says land rover a little bit of print around the spare tire as well two seats in there as well very very tiny little seats but they're there so this one's pretty cool no prints on the back and then just a metal base which looks pretty good this one has a little bit a little bit extra metal to it but it's it's really light it's really really light you wouldn't you wouldn't realize there's that much metal in it and then of course this would be your super if it was a super for the q case unfortunately this is not a super this is the volvo 240 drift wagon only the second time we're seeing this casting debuted uh in maroon last year now we get it in green with some two-tone wheels two two separate wheels so this one looks pretty good. I like this is that newer, uh, you know, multi-spoke wheel. Looks pretty good. Steely's in the back. Does say slammed on the back. So if you got the treasure hunt, it does say super. I think it says super TH or just super on it. Um, so that's a pretty good, pretty good change, I guess you can say, from the super to the regular. But it looks good. Looks good. I mean, we've seen this casting before, so nothing fancy with that one. Unfortunately, no super. Uh, next one up couple more from the q case uh that i almost missed out on this is the cohen seg this is the newest color for the gamera it's kind of an orange kind of color it's kind of a copper orange color it does have front and rear deets on it this one is, happens to be a pretty good print version the taillights and stuff look pretty good and then of course there is your ghost on the back which is a hallmark of cohen seg uh just black wheels again you know this casting is okay it's okay. Uh, Matchbox does one too. I think Matchbox is better just because it's a little bit bigger in its size. I don't necessarily think that it's necessarily better executed. but And then Audi 90 Quattro. This is the second color for this one this year. The debut in a more traditional Audi color. Now we get this one in kind of a red Audi color. So throw the blister out of there. This model is ridiculously wide. Um, it's a really cool casting. This will be a super next year. Uh, for 2024, we'll be in blue. Um, it's going to be like maybe the E case, E or F case, one of the two, I think. But definitely going to get a super of that Audi next year. And I think that's super cool because that is a pretty cool casting. All right. I did pick up uh, one of the last 70th anniversary Matchbox items. There's only one left to go for this year. And that is the convoy truck that will be coming out. Um, so that is the very last 70th anniversary deco to be released. So won't be cracking this one open, but just wanted to show that off. I uh, did pick this up from Hobby Lobby. So if you're looking for Skybusters, Hobby Lobby is the place to go. A little bit more expensive, five bucks a piece, but you know, it's only like a dollar twenty-five more than anybody else. It's really not that big a deal. Um, and you'll probably find something good there because they had some new stuff. So I'll set that guy to the side. No need to put him on the on the list. All right, I did pick up some Majorette. Um, there is a new mix of Majorette that includes stuff like 190E and some other stuff like that. Unfortunately, I haven't found the rest of it. I've only found this one. This is the Ford Mustang GT. Uh, we are getting a lot of Majorette Deluxe stuff lately, um, but I'm not really going to get too happy about it just quite yet. Um, I'd rather get regular Majorette stuff, but... Uh, that's just me. Again, just a rudimentary box that these come with. It's just kind of pointless. Doesn't look all that great. I kind of wish they'd get rid of the box. Not that it really makes it more expensive because these are still like $3.99. So they're still cheaper than any Hot Wheels Premium. Full decos all the way around. Lensed headlights looks good. Of course, suspension. Those are rubber tires. Nice rail riders on there. Germany base on there. It says 164 scale. So they say that this is exactly 164 scale uh, this one is not the version with the opening trunk so trunk does not open on this one they do make a mustang gt that does have an opening trunk though so this one does have opening doors it says ford performance on the hood as well and then there's just that 
Deco on the side, number 54. It's a really good casting. I really like that casting. I think it's a great casting. We'll put that guy right there. Uh, one more that I picked up, Toyota 86, GT86 in Bilstein. So, again, just trying to find these as I can get them. Um, they're actually kind of hard to find. Um, not necessarily because I think that uh, they sell that particularly good. I just think more of it's just the lack of uh, lack of stocking a little bit, in my opinion. There is the box, just Bilstein on there. It does come with the five spokes. Again, just rudimentary with the box. There is the GT86. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, this one looks a little weird. Uh, these five spokes are big, uh, but it makes this casting look like it's kind of off-roady. It doesn't really fit the wheel well area. Um, that's one thing I, I definitely have a qualm with Majorette. They just kind of throw whatever premium wheels onto a casting and just, just deal with it. Um, I, I don't think there's a ton of thought process gone into making it look good. Uh, but that's just my opinion. does have prints all the way around. Even a little bit of print there on the uh, diffuser area there. This guy has opening doors. So those are those two doors. They open pretty good. Of course, their interiors look pretty decent. Of course, you know, suspension as always, lensed headlights, all that good stuff like that. There is your base deets. Nothing fancy. We'll put him there. And then the last majorette that I picked up is this one. This one was a little bit older release, but I seem to not be able to find this 917. Uh, now it's like everywhere. Now it's like absolutely hanging on the pegs everywhere I go. Um, but for the longest time, I couldn't find this one. been looking for this one since, uh, like, end of October, I think, is when this case first started kind of popping up. Get the plastic out of here. Got a whole pile of packaging behind me. Again, same box, nothing fancy. This is the exact same deco they've already released uh, in a previous release. I think it came out in just racing cars. So the only difference is going to be the five-spoke. This one... Um, unlike the GT86, I think this one actually looks pretty good. I think this fits the wheel well pretty good. Um, it's a little bit high. It sits a little bit high, but I think it looks okay. It does have an opening hatch in the back. There's really no details or nothing in there. Not a whole lot. Just kind of a, kind of a giant piece of plastic for the most part, but it's okay. I'm just happy something moves, something opens, and then lens headlights as usual, but just, just the five spokes. So we'll throw him there. Uh, picked up a loose car. So this is a Matchbox Glow Racers. Uh, this is from back in the day, probably, probably early 80s. Um, these were, I think there's eight or nine of them. Um, so these were meant to be, you know, race down a track. They do glow in the dark. So if you uh, charge these up with light and then turn the lights off, they do glow. Uh, this one is in perfect condition. Hasn't been run or nothing like that. If you look at the base, it is called the Streak Ray. And it has got a Hong Kong base, so copyright 1982. So there are, like I said, about eight, eight or nine different ones, uh, different castings. I have this one now and then a BMW. They're very rare. Uh, they're very, very uh, not common to come across, especially in this kind of condition, uh, new, <laughs> new condition. Um, and they're a little bit, little bit bigger than your standard Matchbox car, but still pretty cool. I'm really happy I was able to pick one of those up. Um, and then the Forza, uh, just wanted the Porsche out of it. Like, seems like everybody on the planet just wants the Porsche out of it. Uh, but you guys know that here at Level M, we do do Porsche collecting. So we're not just buying the Porsche just to have the Porsche. Uh, we're buying the Porsche because we just do Porsches. So needed this one out of the set. The rest of it, meh. Yeah, the rest of the set can just go on. Looks okay. Does have your 75th anniversary logo on the side. It says Xbox on it because, of course, it's Forza. The taillight prints are done up. Does have lens headlights in the front. This is considered a premium. So it's like 350 or something like that. So kind of an expensive main line, but it does have some good details to it. All right. So probably not going to leave these on the screen, but I have a ton of monster trucks and I, I left these towards the end so that uh, we didn't have to try to deal with them on the screen because they just take up too much space. Uh, these are glow in the dark. These were sold at Target um, earlier this year and last year, uh, but then they went away. But then uh, Walmart started putting out these sidekicks that have some of these in there, and uh, I had passed up on a bunch of these. 
I just, I really wasn't interested at the time, but now I kind of wanted them. So I picked up a couple. So this is the Midwest Mag Madness. Sorry about that. This is the Ford truck. So again, this is just like the Corvette we were just talking about from Matchbox. Uh, these will glow in the dark, so the chassis and all that stuff will glow. Everything you see that has like that kind of weird off-white kind of plastic color to it, that will glow in the dark. Other than that, it is just a pretty standard uh, monster truck, but it looks pretty good. The pink tread is um, it's interesting. It's, it's definitely interesting, but it's okay. Uh, picked up another one. This is from a different release. It came out of the same sidekick, but this one's a different release. You can see these are the mixes of those ones on the on the back here. This is the Podium Crusher. This one looks pretty cool. This is a actual casting that um, I do collect regularly for monster trucks because um, that's like the prototypical looking monster truck. You know, it's kind of the kind of the you know flashy truck. I guess you can call it. Looks pretty good though. Blue wheels, interesting. Orange hubs, uh, kind of a pinkish kind of color for the beadlock print, which is interesting. But it looks pretty cool. It's different. Sometimes we like the different stuff. We do the different stuff. So I picked it up. Uh, last one I picked up from that particular mix is the Carbonator XXL. See, this one is more kind of donned up to be like Halloween-ish. So I'm not really sure if this was just late to the party. There is the mix in the back. Of course, we did pick up the uh, Podium Crusher. We picked up that Midwest Magic and then now the Carbonator. Those are the other two in the mix that I don't collect those castings. So didn't pick those ones up, but we pull out our Carbonator XXL. Get the packaging out of here. So this guy has some super cool tread on there. It is skull and crossbones for the tread. So that's pretty cool. Of course, the carbonator is a bottle cap opener. This is metal, so you can actually use this to open bottles. They actually show a picture of that on the card. They do encourage you to do that. There is your deets right there. Carbonator XXL, monster trucks, looks cool. Just something cool, just something different. And of course, there's a cat on the front, so I'm not really sure the details of the cat, but the cat is there nonetheless. All right. The one monster truck that everybody's buying that doesn't even collect monster trucks. Uh, this is the R34 Skyline. This is the new casting for 2023. First time this one is a monster truck. Um, again, you know, Mattel using whatever means they can to beat the Fast and Furious licensing to the ground. I was fortunate enough to get this one secondhand because I haven't been able to actually pull this one from the pegs because... Um, everybody and their mom is buying this who doesn't even doesn't even collect monster trucks comes with one of those terrible rudimentary crushed cars just solid plastic it's the wagon there is your r34 of course it's going to have full-on full premium print all the way around because it's a monster truck so too fast too furious uh 03 is what it looks like for the plate blue on the wing and then of course there is the details on the front done up Got your GTR symbol and stuff in there. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It is a. Uh, it is not the exact same casting as the main line. Um, it is a entirely new casting. So, in case you were wondering if you could just take this body and make a main line out of it, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. The wheel arches are enormous as well. So, but it's it's okay. It's got chrome wheels. Just happy to get it. You know, I'm I'm a monster truck collector, so I wanted to have the monster truck. You know. All right, from that same case, we do have a brand new one for Jurassic Park. It is the Jeep Wrangler done up for Jurassic Park, new for 2023. Get this guy out of here with all of his materials. Sorry about that. Just have this giant stack of plastic behind me. All right, so there is the Jeep. This one is fantastic, though. Has the um, 392 hood on it, which looks good. The finish is really, really nice. It's like a dull finish. It looks super good. The color is fantastic as well. Prints are amazing. It says unit number 18 on the side. Looks good. I really like this one a lot. That is not a, uh, I don't think this is a new casting, maybe a new version for this particular 
uh, casting itself may be different with the hood or something. I'd have to look at the other Jeeps, but they've made Jeeps before, so that, that aspect of it is not new. And then just a um, gray uh, frame in that, and then this one comes with the exact same crushed car as the first one in the same color as well. All right, pick this up from Five Below. You see it still has a sticker on there for $5. Uh, this is the Barbie Camper. This was new for 2023. This is a little bit older mix. There is the mix on the back for this one. So I apologize for not showing you the mix for the other one. But uh, might have a couple more here. So we'll get this guy out of here with the packaging. There we go. This one comes with the kind of the Baja truck. Um, kind of the dune buggy squashed. So a little bit different with this one. There is your Barbie RV. It's... It's okay. I mean, it's a gimmick. Um, I do like the casting, though. I do like the RV casting. I think it's pretty cool. Of course, they, you know, pumping out Barbie stuff just because it's the year of Barbie for Mattel with their movie and stuff like that. It's got a million Barbies all over it, though. Uh, and then it just has white tires and then a pink frame in there or a pink chassis with the black frame around it. It looks pretty good. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, it's a monster truck. It's a freestyle monster truck at that. All right, brand spanking new casting for 2023 is the Humvee. So this is the mix that uh, we're working on here. So we had the Jeep. We Now we have the Humvee, the Skyline we had. And then, of course, uh, we're going to have the Bone Shaker here in just a second because that is a new version for the Bone Shaker. Get this out of here. So this guy comes with that same Baja truck, just in green instead of yellow. So that is the change. There is our Hummer. Like I said, brand spanking new casting. Details done up behind the front brush guard. Looks good. I love the uh, camo style to this one. It says Hot Wheels Monster Trucks HWMT. I really like that one a lot. It looks super cool. No, no taillight prints or nothing on the back, but it's all camoed up. It's a really nice casting. Looks really good. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty beefy. And then just all black chassis and frame and stuff. I think it looks good. That one's really cool. Definitely like that one. All right. Here is the last monster truck. It is the Bone Shaker. Get this guy out of here. Plastic. Plastic is everywhere. This one comes with the car. So this is the... I think this is the last different type. Um, comes with like the coupe or whatever. Uh, all smashed up in blue. And then here is our bone shaker. So it is all golden. Gold tires and everything like that. Gold uh, frame in there. There is the skull and bones. Or the skull on the front. In uh, gold. Engines in gold and all that good stuff like that. Looks pretty good. Definitely like this one. It is a, it's a pretty good version. The bone shaker is you know pretty popular. I'm not sure how popular it is being a monster truck. But... People love the Bone Shaker. It's one of the more popular castings that Hot Wheels does for sure. So set that guy to the side. Now, I have a couple of other things here. Did pick up a couple of Maesto designs. So this is the International Durastar flatbed with the 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track. This one looks especially nice. So get this guy out of here. Plastic out of here. Should, should slide out. Oops. Sorry about the plastic. Too much plastic noise. There is the International Durastar. Uh, never been a huge fan of the kind of artistic style that this tow truck has. Um, but the good thing is, is it does do what it's supposed to do. You know, just roll back um, and then, you know, go down. And you can add a car up to it. Looks pretty good. Does have some simulated dualies in the back, which is a good touch. Singles in the front, it is uh, relatively slammed to the ground, but the wheels are essentially truck tires for the most part. Has a separate piece up there for the light bar, which looks okay. This particular one is the extended cab. Got some Toyo tires on there, looks pretty good. But this is really what the star of the show is. This is the Bronco Wild Track. I don't believe that the top comes off. Nope, the top does not come off. Um, but this one looks fantastic. We've seen this one in the basic like Adventure Force style, um, which didn't have an interior or anything. So now it has an interior and it has rubber tires, 
full deco up. Looks fantastic. Matching spare on there as well. Tail lights look good. Bronco symbol looks good. Roof rack on the top. I really, really like this one a lot. Looks fantastic. Details in the front are just amazing. It's such a good, it's such a good casting. It's such a good casting. And it's the details are so good. Maestos um, design stuff is really, really good. They do really good stuff. Um, it's just really, really hard to find this stuff. Just super hard to find this stuff. But this one looks absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna put that guy. We're just gonna put that guy there. We're gonna just leave our our uh, Durastar out. And I got one more Maesto Design 2021 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. This is with the car trailer. That is a new casting, the Raptor casting that was released in the basic uh, Adventure Force line, but I have been unable to find it. And now we get one in premium. This packaging was a little bit beat up when I purchased this. So the trailer should come out uh, relatively easy. There we go. We'll take our SVT Raptor out. So this is the trailer. Um, hot, I'm sorry. Um, this trailer is basically the exact same size as the one that Greenlight does, um, but they're not like a they're not a copy or anything like that. This is um, a different style entirely for Maesto. It does have rubber tires on there. Fix this one on that side. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit of a slammed trailer style. The uh, tongue is very, very small as well, so you get not a whole lot of, of articulation in the, in the towing of it. it. does say tow and go on the back because that is the line. And then it does have the folding ramp that comes down. There you go. You can fit a car in there. It has a little bit of a tread detail on the inside of the ramp, which is a nice detail. And then this is the Raptor. So this one looks pretty good. It does have uh, interior... Full detail all the way around. Nice rubber tires. It ridiculously ugly hitch. The good thing is, is it's on there with a screw, so you can always take the hitch off if you don't want it on there. It's very, very simple. I like the way that they design them like that. Just say Ford F-150 Raptor on the back, kind of in a ghost black. And then there is the deets in the front. Looks pretty good. This is Ford in the grill. Again, I haven't seen this casting in hand yet until just now. So one of the reasons why I picked it up, there is the deets on the base. Looks okay. And then it just, it has like the biggest toe hitch ever. It's just so big. It's just huge. Just ridiculously huge. So I guess you get some pretty good articulation from it, but it's still kind of weird. I'll just set the trailer off to the side. Maybe set the trailer maybe in the back. So there you go. There you go. That is the haul, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 43, Diecast Haul. It's been a long one. It's been a doozy. Uh, a lot of stuff piled up. So I wanted to get that stuff uh, scooped up and on the channel for you. And uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about that stuff. Let me know what you think about maybe the monster trucks and stuff like that. Or maybe the Q case. Particularly, I think that these are kind of the highlights of the haul. But that's just my opinion because we like the weird stuff here at Level M. So anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back. Catch more stuff. Diecast all day, every day here at Level M. Peace.